Docker Compose is a tool that allows you to define and run multi-container Docker applications. It makes it easy to set up and run complex applications with multiple dependencies without having to manually start and stop each container. With Docker Compose, you can define your application's services, networks, and volumes in a single YAML file, and then use a single command to start everything up. Now, let's dive into creating a Docker Compose file using an existing Docker Compose WordPress example. In this tutorial, we'll use the popular WordPress project as an example. You can find it on Docker Hub here. If you scroll down to the Docker Compose section, you'll see an example of a Docker Compose file that you can use as a starting point. First, you want to create a new directory for your Docker Compose project and then open it in VS Code. Create a new file called docker-compose.yml in your project directory. The WordPress Docker Compose file comes with two services. WordPress, and MySQL. You'll need to modify the environment variables for the MySQL service to set a root password and create a database for WordPress to use. This code is a Docker Compose file that defines two services, a WordPress service and a database service. The Docker Compose file is written in YAML format and contains the following components. Version 3, this line specifies the version of the Docker Compose file syntax that the file is using. In this case, it's version 3. Services defines the services that make up the application. In this case, there are two services, DB and WordPress. DB is the service for the MySQL database. It uses the official MySQL 5.7 image from Docker Hub. Image specifies the Docker image to use for the DB service. Volumes defines a named volume that is used to store the MySQL data. DB data defines the named volume and maps it to the var lib MySQL directory in the DB service. Restart ensures that the DB service restarts automatically if it stops. Environment sets environment variables for the DB service. In this case, it sets the root password and creates a new database called WordPress. WordPress is the service for the WordPress application. Depends on specifies that the WordPress service depends on the DB service. Image specifies the Docker image to use for the WordPress service. Ports maps a container port to a host port. This line maps port 80 in the WordPress container to port 8000 on the host. Environment sets environment variables for the WordPress service. In this case, it sets the database host, username, password, and database name. Volumes defines the named volume that is used to store the MySQL data. And finally, DB data specifies the name of the named volume. Now that you have a customized Docker Compose file, you can start your containers using the following command. Docker Compose up and the D flag. This command will start your containers in the background using the D flag and display logs in your terminal. Once your containers are running, you can access your WordPress site by going to localhost 8000 in your web browser. You should see the startup wizard to help you configure your WordPress website. And that's it. You successfully created a Docker Compose file using the official Docker Compose WordPress example. With Docker Compose, you can easily manage and scale your multi-container applications with ease. What questions do you have about Docker? Let me know in the comments and please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.